Am I? I mean, I'll take it in more than one way. <laughs> Adam twenty two. Boot like Kev. How you doing? Uh, I'm good, man. I can't complain, brother. It's it's so crazy. So yesterday, we're in my studio, and I was like, "Oh yeah, Adam twenty two is coming on tomorrow." I, I told uh, my my producer, and there was like this random white dude in the studio. And he was like, "Oh, that's the guy, right? Who like let the dude fuck his <laughs> wife?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he asked. He was like, "Wait, you don't know who Adam twenty two is?" Like, otherwise, he's like, "No, who, like, what does he do?" Yeah, it does feel like that. There's a lot of people who just found out about me from this, which is kind it's, of crazy. It's good for your business. Yeah, I can't complain. How has the metrics changed in terms of like just just like on a basic level? Like, let's say just your IG. On Since Instagram, all this happened with with Lena, your wife, I think I might have gained like fifty thousand followers on on Instagram mm -hmm. and like sixty or seventy on Twitter. So just obviously that doesn't like matter that much, but it is kind of indicative of oh okay, there's a lot of new eyeballs on me. I'm curious too because like I've seen obviously I, I just saw I think I just saw something on TikTok Lena on why you guys chose Jason Love. Okay. Um, how long was you guys get married? Yeah. Beautiful wedding. Was it in you. Italy? Yeah. I love it. it looked crazy. Thank you. And then you guys appeared to have gone on the most elaborate honeymoon slash family vacation ever. That is the most baller shit that we've ever done in it our It was lives. like a month, right? It was so much money. The nicest hotels ever. I was like just surrounded by real deal rich people. And How I much felt did like you drop in a month? Oh, probably six figures. Six figures on the honeymoon. Yeah. Damn. Well, it looked like it for sure. It was fucking crazy. Um... And then you guys come back, and it feels like this kind of happens, not necessarily right away, but it feels like it almost happens rather quickly. We have been talking about it basically since the beginning of the year. Around mm -hmm. January, we did like a TikTok with Jason Love mm -hmm. while we were at the AVN convention. I remember seeing that, yeah. And it went crazy, just us joking around about the idea of her sleeping with another guy. So we already kind of had the idea in our head, and we had an idea of like, oh, this is going to be viral, like really viral, like this this – this might be just the thing we need to sort of switch things up and get re get people really really excited about it but we definitely didn't know to what extent it was going to explode because she had a dollar amount in her head that she told me at one point and she has to date made like 50 50 times that the dollar amount meaning how much money she thinks she would make if she were to do that clip and yes okay. and then it's like that times 50. Whoa. Yeah. Like it was so much bigger than we ever would have dreamed. Well, this is what I was going to say. Cause like, I will say this dude, like it feels like you guys really plan this out in such a meticulous way. And I feel like you've done such a great job <laughs> of like mastering the virality of this moment. I feel like I get being a public persona a lot more than I ever did before. And I feel like I get going viral a lot more i feel a lot I, I it's ironic i feel like this gigantic man putting dick in my bitch really kind of like helped me to like rediscover my voice because i feel like so much less scared or intimidated or or worried about what i say on camera or whatever like after the insanity of all this it just feels like oh like, like you can say whatever the fuck you want at this point yeah like oh soldier boy said something about me on live all right i'm gonna go off on soldier boy like oh fucking cowboy said some lame shit about me on podcast i'm gonna go off on cowboy like i'm just not worried and it's like even even just like my instagram comments i was always kind of combing that shit and just like restricting people who would say rude shit or whatever and at a certain point during all this it just became like okay I'm what's just, the point of even looking at this yeah, shit like, who cares yeah i used to like wake up and search my name on twitter yeah i've done that yeah that is not happening anymore this yeah, you is can't do it anymore <laughs> it's no over chance. now it's over yeah it's pretty it, yeah it's crazy well i was gonna say like when you guys sat down and said okay we're gonna do this mm -hmm. did you map out the promo did you map out okay, we're going to do this, this, and this leading up to it. And then afterwards, we're going to do this, this, and this. Like how much of like some of the content we saw was like absolutely planned? Because a lot of it felt like I was like, oh, you're like, you were, you're really turning up and like most, leaning into a yeah, lot of this Most shit. of it wasn't like planned, planned, like in advance. It was mostly just me and her kind of just talking about it and rolling with the punches and just seeing what happened. And like, you know, you know, like I, I had, uh, okay, it was like, there was one day where, Jason Love did an interview a couple of weeks ago and basically was like kind of talking spicy, being a little bit disrespectful. This was not planned. This was just him kind of not knowing how to act or right. not knowing how to deal with the, the, the spotlight, you know? And I'm not going to lie, like when I first seen it, I had like 
a day where I was kind of thinking about it and I was annoyed. Mm -hmm. And then like as I was going to bed that night, I just pictured in my head me making a TikTok in which I threatened him and blacklisted him from, from my wife's vagina. Okay. And I was just laying in bed by myself, just laughing so hard, thinking about the idea of me making this TikTok. And then I woke up the next morning and I made the TikTok and it got like five million views. And I and I don't know, it's 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 kind of been that over and over and over where it's like, oh like you have no reason to like get emotionally involved in this or whatever. You can just fuck with people and troll people and the end result is that people don't really know what was real and what wasn't real because mm -hmm. there was like little parts of it yeah, that nobody like was, suspected yeah, but were like totally... There was a lot of trolling, like a lot of like, you know, like you said, like like that video you're talking about, like when you're like, you're banned from LA. How about like <laughs> You're banned from my wife's vagina. Yeah, it was just like, okay, all right, well. Uh, <laughs> but but it, but like you said, it's, it worked. And like, I also want to like, because obviously, is there, have there, has there been any real world complications because we i mean i i don't believe, i mean anything we see on the internet i don't really look too much into because you've kind of mastered the internet right right has there been an actual any like real world complications in terms of the attention like has it made it harder for lena to do certain stuff how does her family feel about everything like is i mean our families are really cool about it in the sense that our families have never mentioned the porn thing to either of us ever ever wait 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 never never like like your whole time being together, it's never gotten brought up. I'll hear about some shit here and there. Like I'll hear about, oh, my mom said something to my sister about it and like asked her a question about like, oh, why is Adam on the cover of this, you know, website? Or like, why did, why did the New York Post post about Adam buying a, a Lamborghini, which is not, not real. Uh, you know, a lot of, even my close friends thought that there were like a few people have come over to my house and been like where do you keep the lamborghini i'm like oh, oh yeah that video well i wasn't gonna say that because you would hit me and you were like hey man you got some prop money because oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna give her like 100 grand yeah. or 200 yeah. grand at the same time but i couldn't find any prop money yeah um but yeah no our, our families just don't mention it they're just kind of too polite it's kind of like the elephant in the room a little like when you go over to the armenian get-togethers it doesn't get brought up at all no Wow. Which is crazy, right? Like, they just are too polite, which, thank God, because I don't want to fucking talk about that shit with them. And oh, I'm, that's awkward. I'm just going to one-word answer the fuck out of them if they did try to bring it up to me or whatever. I'm just going to laugh and roll with it, but, yeah. So there really hasn't been anything too, like, like I mean, obviously, you guys, I mean, you've always been kind of famous, like, in the last seven years, eight years, right? It's been, what, 2015, 16 is when like, you really started? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I started No Jumper in 2015, and even before that, I had, like, 10 years of being this BM very prominent BMX, BMX personality, guy. which kind of like allowed me to get used but to it. But it's safe to say like six straight years, you've been kind of like a thing on the, you know, where like my kid knows who you are, you know, like. Mm, I'll take it. But I would say now it's different, right? Definitely feels like we hit like a different level of that. And even today we announced that we're doing this thing that's like a, a YouTube slash OnlyFans live stream where basically we're going to do a big 10-person podcast with a bunch of porn stars. And then in the other room, we have an OnlyFans live stream going at the same time. So it's basically going to be like an orgy with a big group of people. And they're just swapping Kind rooms. of going back and forth, in and out. And like the comments... Like, like it, it just feels like there's so much more attention on everything that we do porn-wise now, but at the same time, we also just have this massive wave of hate with everything we do, too. But, like, on Twitter or TikTok, getting comments and getting hate is, like, one of the biggest things that makes your shit viral, get promoted. So, like, I have random uh, Kendama clips on my TikTok now that mm -hmm. have, like, three million views just because, like, a couple thousand everything people else. stopped in to say, like, ha-ha, you're a cuck or, you know, you're a piece of shit or you're, you're, you're a terrible parent or whatever. And I'm like... Okay, well, if, I, if if all I have to deal with is this, and you guys are going to make everything I do go viral, okay. There are certain things that are like, can you explain to me some of the unwritten rules or code of the porn game? Because you had shared some information that we won't talk about off camera the last time I saw you. Uh -huh. Some details about your video, or Lena's video, rather, with Jason Love that we won't talk about. But there right. is a code, right? Like, and, and I think you said that Jason Love maybe broke the code a little. I mean, nobody has ever explicitly told me that there's a code, but I definitely feel like there's an expectation that you keep it a little bit gangster in terms of the whole porn thing, because if you're on set, you're going to see a lot of weird shit. You know, you're going to see dudes having to jerk their dick off for 45 minutes to get hard. You're mm -hmm. going to see guys having to pop Viagra to get hard. You're going to see 
you know, girls who have, oh, they're on their periods, so they have to go and like shove some fucking sponge thing in there and to clean out whatever kind of stuff might be in there. There's all kinds of shit. And like, I realized this because I, like, the one time I did a, a an anal threesome with Riley Reed and my girl back in the day mm-hmm. in our backyard, which is kind of hard to imagine now. We probably wouldn't do that these days since we have like a family and everything. But, you know, there was some, some leakage, some shit flying, you know? It's happened. And, you know, I had a turd on my knee at one point and stuff. And then I went on the podcast that week and I just talked about it. And my girl had to tell me, like, yo, like, I don't think girls are going to necessarily want to do anal threesomes with us if you're just going to be airing out the grossest things that happened. And I was like, that is a really good point. And so anything, like, messy that happens on set, I feel like it's kind of our responsibility to not talk about it. If a dude can't get hard, it's like, we're not going to clown him. We're just going to kind of ignore it. To me, also, probably within the porn guy's code should be, like, you don't like you know especially if a fucking well-known dude like me is going to let you fuck their wife on camera for porn content you should probably not be critical of him in any way or you might be respectful yeah you know don't do this weird like dick comparison thing or whatever even though obviously yeah you have a huge hog but it's like you just don't need to say that and i I feel like now if we shoot with any more guys that will be very much a conversation is like okay this is the this is the way that we can talk about this and this is what we can and we need this you know to stay on the same page in terms of all this but i feel like he 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 got a lot of hate for maybe not beating it up right and that I, I guess he probably had never dealt with that before, so he was probably trying to compensate for that by clarifying. And, like, uh, on your end, you're probably like, thank you. I mean... <laughs> Thanks for not, like... Yeah, Because right? you've seen, like, some of these fucking scenes this guy's in. He's fucking, you know... And I thought about that after, like, oh, wow. Like, I kind of got off easy there because, you know, I didn't really think about what kind of sex they were going to be having beforehand, and the the scene that they did was very much, like... Very... You know, a, 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 an easy entry point for me in the sense that it was not yeah. some Brian Gosling hot shot, hot shot hookups or whatever the fuck that is. Some, that is yeah. It's just like the most aggressive type of porn, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, I guess he, he did kind of do me a favor in that regard. Shout out to... Uh, <laughs> is he going to come on the podcast? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I heard he like flew to Toronto to do six buzz. So who knows what they're going to ask him. Probably oh, he's just, he's just, he's, he's, he, he probably, this probably raised his profile to like a, I mean, he was already a pretty popular guy, I'm sure. Yeah. But the weird thing in porn is like, you could be really popular in porn and then you're still kind of like a regular person to most people. Right. You especially know? if you're a dude. Yeah. Oh, especially if you're a dude. And, and even like, you know, sometimes I think about that. Like I can't get a little baby interview. I can't get a Cardi interview or Uzi Vert interview. But it's no problem for me to get a Savannah Bond piece of content or Angela White or all these like super huge girls are much more approachable and like, you know, humble than the top rappers, you know? What, um, what is the like expectation now moving forward? Is this, is, are you guys going to make her doing the dude scene a regular thing? We're definitely going to do more of it, but I would say like the frequency is probably the thing that's kind of up for debate that we're still kind of figuring out and like you know there's some stuff that i really don't mind at all like like i I probably would have been real nervous about it before but like me fucking her with another guy i don't really like feel any type of way about that anymore like that's no problem like i'll definitely do that would you do the would you do the dp yeah i feel like that's on the bucket list but then that's like a dick on dick yeah and you know, it's like I'm not gonna fuck a dude, Kev. I don't. But. Want, I don't listen. I don't want you to fuck a dude. <laughs> but if you're gonna do the DP, there's no way that yeah, your yeah, guys' yeah. dicks don't touch or balls slap or just yeah, it, yeah. you're crossing swords. You're rubbing I feel like swords. I got to do it one time before I die. Okay, and you, you might. Know? I mean, you got to do. I mean, obviously you're married, so it's got to I mean, be with my, your wife. My leg bumps another dude's leg. It's like whatever. We all been in the gym locker room before or whatever. But also, like I don't know. Like it's got to be a homie. I think it's got to be somebody I'm like real cool with. Would you ever? Do anything with a trans porn star? No. Nah. Even if it was like fucking your wife with a trans porn star? I don't feel like I want to turn yeah. our sex life into a culture war thing. You know, I'll probably just... <laughs> I'm not trying to like prove my wokeness or anything. And I, and I fuck with a lot of trans uh, women and stuff. Like, have had a lot of them on the podcast. I had Emma Rose on the podcast. I think and- I saw a little bit of the... Uh, you guys did like a... Um, a panel right it was like yeah 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 and i got to meet a lot of really cool trans people in that situation and everything but my whole thing is like 
I'm not really trying to do anything on camera for money that I wouldn't want do in to real do life. in my private life as well. Right. Yeah, so like I don't, you know, and even like I'll, I'll like I'm not personally really like mega attracted to a BBW that's like 400 pounds. Right. W- would I maybe do it on camera? Like maybe, yeah. Like that doesn't doesn't would seem you pop, so bad. Would you pop a blue chew? I might have to pop something. I don't know. Yeah. My pop an energy drink. My pop a C4. Let's not give them any free fucking publicity here, all right? <laughs> That's why I have their logo turned away from them. This guy's over here got the Celsius on the floor. <laughs> Man. We're over here drinking fucking energy drinks like a couple of real white guys. Like a couple of real Arizona <laughs> and New Hampshire white boys, right? <laughs> oh, shit. 